Maryland Juco Soccer in La Plata, Maryland. Howard Community College on the road at College of Southern Maryland. Dragons enter the match with a 2-1 record. CSM fielding only 10 players enters with a draw on its record. Second minute, Sarah Yao breaks up the clear and sends it in the direction of Caitlin Lewis. College of Southern Maryland comes out swinging. The shorthanded Hawks take the lead. Later in the first half, corner kick for Howard. Lee McDonald takes it. Back to McDonald. And she rifles it by the keeper with her left. We're tied. Thirty-two minutes remaining in the first half. Alina Walters, Jasmine McConnell, ahead for Nikki Vieira. Here's a chance for HCC. Vieira, Lydia White. After being stunned early, Howard is in control of the action. Dragons possession game on display. Not enough on that clear. Kelsey Scott. Caitlin McDaniel sends it in. Vieira jumps on the loose ball and finishes it just in time. Hawks looking to clear. McDonald wins it back for Howard. Goes by Lewis. No pressure on McDonald. She tries her luck. McDonald! What a hit! 4-1 Howard. Second half, Devin Bazzioni dispossesses Lewis. Through to McDaniel. Running free into the box. What a save, denied by Jasmine Summers. Four minutes remaining. Brittany Nixon with the header. Brittany Wartman. Dragons have one back possession. Vieira slices it through the CSM back line for McDaniel, and she places it inside the far post. Howard picks up a Maryland Juco win on the road. Dragons improve to three and one on the season. Coach, how do you feel about your team this year? I feel pretty good. Um, you know, we are low in numbers, but uh, I think it's pretty average for, you know, the rest of the conference this year. But um, we've got 15 girls, and all of them can get on the field and give us quality time. So that's, uh, that's huge for us. With the low numbers, how's the conditioning for your team? Oh, we're going to have to be conditioned. Um, there's no question. Uh, we try to do a little bit of fitness every day, provided we don't have a game the next day. So um, they know our situation. We've been very honest with them and told them, you know, since our low numbers, we've got to get uh, we've got to get ourselves as fit as possible. So um, I think that's showing on the field a little bit. Plus, you know, just game game shape. When people don't get subs, you know, you have no choice but to get fit. So that's where we're at. The center midfield position here has a little bit of history. I know you played center midfield. Tell us about this year's center mid for the Dragons. Um, well, we, you know, we're playing a different formation, and obviously it could change depending on you know our competition. Um, so right now we've got we've got a kind of a, a five-person rotation in our in our center midfield, and uh, all five are are doing a hell of a job. You know. The, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to say that. Sorry, you might have to edit that. <laughs> um, no, our midfield is uh, is probably the strongest point of our of our team. Um, anything up up the center, you know, our center backs, um, and then straight on through is is very strong for us. And that's I'm pretty confident that they're going to get the job done. So happy with our central central midfield right now. What do you think your team's capable of doing this year, finish wise? I mean, I'm. I'm very confident in in our capabilities um i'm very you know my expectations of the team are always to to strive for nationals so um i told them that i said that's our goal and that needs to be our goal and i think if we continue to improve and keep growing and playing the way we want them to play then i think anything's possible do you think the team has bought in I think so. I mean, if not, they they better do it soon. Um, we had a we had a nice talk yesterday. We had a nice talk today. I had to kind of lay some rules out there that I'm not sure were being followed, but um, you know, kind of told them our situation that 
that our expectation is to go to nationals and you know they need to buy into that and they the biggest thing with with most of our teams is I'm not sure they believe in themselves and it's a matter of them getting that that expectation within themselves that we can actually get there and, and do well. What's it going to take in such a short season to get the whole team to believe and make the most out of this? I think it's just confidence. You know, every game, if we do well each game, it's going to be a confidence builder. If we're, you know, today we didn't start off so well. And, uh, you know, once they started to see where we were going to gain our success and they saw what we could do, um, that was confidence enough to them to start to realize this is what we need to do to have success. Once they start doing that and see the actual success form, I think that's the conference they're going to need to say, hey, moving forward, this is what we do right. Let's continue to do that. Lee, talk about your goal. Was it like 25 yards out? Oh, yeah. Um, so it was just a breakaway from the back, and I just got the opportunity to try to take one and got lucky over the top. Lee, talk about the technical skill of this team and how it compares to maybe some other clubs or high school teams you play with. Um, so I think we're doing really well. We're working on passing the ball around, creating stuff out of the back, and making sure that we're using the ball and to just play to each other and just use our energy that way and just conserve our energy and work as a team, as a unit, to move the ball around the field cohesively. Coach Seagroves was talking about the numbers of this team and how the team has to really be conditioned. Are you happy with where the team is, with the conditioning as a whole? Uh, yeah, we've definitely been working really hard in the preseason. Um, every game is <laughs> working closer and closer, starting to get more and more fit as we get further into the season. Um, so I think, yeah, we're just continuing to work on that. I think we're doing really well right now, but we can definitely get better and better. What does this win in particular today, what does this win do for the team? Um, I think it motivates us going forward. It gives us a little bit more confidence. We're working towards a goal of going to nationals this year. So we really just want to keep building and building. So these, these wins are really good confidence builders for us. So the nationals, where does that goal come from? Did you come in that way or is that something that coach instilled in you? Um, a little bit of both. I think all of us, obviously, we all want to be successful. And then coach has told us about how great the experience nationals is. And I think we all really want that for the team and for each other. So what made you want to come here and play soccer at Howard for Coach Seagroves? <laughs> um, they have a good record, and so I was really, really interested. And then I met the girls last spring, and so I just was automatically drawn into the team. So I definitely really wanted to play for her. I can see her passion. <laughs> Tell me about the whole team as, as a whole, like personality-wise. What's this team's personality? Are you guys silly? Or are you taking everything super seriously? Uh, we're definitely a bunch of goofballs, I'd say. We we take it seriously when we need to, and we'll we'll focus when we're in practice and stuff like that. But we definitely know how to lay back and relax and have a good time with each other. We've got all kinds of different personalities, but we all bounce off of each other, and it's a lot of fun. 